Well, it's time now to meet our pet of the week. Yeah, he is a special boy who was rescued from an abusive situation. Shannon Clark of Animal Friends is here to tell us his story and how <laughs> Animal Friends University is helping him and other pets learn new behaviors like Boy. licking people's socks. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's Gus, right? Yes, this is Gus. Hey, Gus. <laughs> Hi. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Hi. He's Hi. a little jumpy, but he's oh, incredibly he's sweet. Boy. Yes, he is. So tell us about his history. He's seven years old. We think he's about seven and he came in through our humane investigations department with a, uh, from a cruelty case okay so don't know much about that but we know that now we can change everything moving forward for him so and so how are you doing that we, we were both intrigued by animal friends university we so, have not heard of that right before. oh yeah so yeah. animal friends university is it's an extension of what we do in our behavior department so with our behavior department we have a whole team of staff and volunteers that works with all of our dogs cats and rabbits so um, with enrichment, which gives them brain puzzles, things like that, uh, during the day. Oh, David, oh boy, he yeah. really likes, he likes me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry about that. Um, but maybe we're working with him with a little bit of the jumpiness. <laughs> but with our behavior department, we work with this, and we want to make sure that all of the training in the shelter is all positive and rewards-based. Right. So Animal Friends University is for pet owners. So they can come in and sign up for a class, and it's with your pets. Sometimes it's just for your pets, like cat massage. Um, yeah, tell me about cat massage. <laughs> yeah, that is so intriguing to me. You can, so you teach your cat to give you a massage? Yes, that is exactly okay. what it is. Is it really? No. 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 <laughs> That's what you were hoping. Yeah, if only. But no, this is for to massage your cat at home, because, I mean, who wouldn't want to massage? So your pets right. like them, too. Yeah. Um, so we, can, we do things oh, like bunny yeah. grooming as well, but then there's training classes for our pets, too. Um, so Gus, if some, whenever he is adopted, he could go maybe just for <laughs> companion dog manners, and it's basic commands, sit, stay, things like that to help oh. <laughs> make him make his behaviors a little bit more manageable, make him a little bit more polite. Oh, <laughs> because right now he's, he's kind of rude, well, but he's you know sweet. What? It's it's not that. What you can tell though is that <laughs> is that he has a lot of love to give. Yes, I mean, he yes. he's excited to see people. Yes. He's excited yes, to love yes, people. Yes, and I think that. That's a better quality than having, you know, someone that's showing signs or right. a pet that's showing signs of aggression. Right, right. right. Yeah. So he's incredibly sweet. <laughs> he's actually you... really well trained already. He probably won't listen to me right now, but he actually has his sit down really oh, well. If you, you. if you show him. Yeah, we have some video too of you training him or, or them at the university yeah. getting into a bath. Right. right. Yeah. So he yeah. has he has some skin issues that we're working through right now. You can see on his front leg, and this is our behavior team working with him to positively have him associate the these bins because it eventually will get him into a bath that will help his skin issues. Right. So it's a special thing. It's a special thing where it's the bubbles get into his skin and help to heal it and help to make it feel Aww. better. And it's funny to watch the dogs in there because they love it. They love it. We've had Aww. a few dogs go through it and this is just getting him ready for what it actually will be like because we don't know how he'll react to a bath, a bath. Don't, you know, my dogs, right. if they see it, they're like, oh no, nope. they run the other way. <laughs> so we want to make sure that what we're doing with him, because with his health issues, we want to make sure that everything is happy, everything is positive. Right. So then he wants to go in it, so that it'll help his recovery faster. So we always like to ask too, um, with, with each animal that comes in, any specific kind of home, so right now we're working we're working through that. Um, I mean our adoption department will tell you he's he's really great, of course, really sweet as you guys saw. Um, probably maybe for maybe older kids if he can go home with kids because he is very strong. Right. Um, he's not quite available just yet, but we're working with him because we want to make sure that his skin issues are remedied before he goes home. But Aww. keep an eye on our website and our adoption counselors will tell you everything you need to know about our, our boy Gus. It's like he knows where the who camera is. That, is. Yeah, who is yeah. that good looking guy on <laughs> TV? Good job, Gus. You did well. Well, thank yeah. you so much sure, for bringing so Gus much, with you today. And find out more about today's pet, Gus, and Animal Friends University online or at the shelter on Camp Horn Road. And keep watching for more stories like Gus's in our regular Monday Adopt Me segment right here on PTL. There he is.